what? You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. The sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. I'll talk to you later. What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. If you made it, you must have an idea how to cure it. Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I want access to the maintenance area. I suppose. It's not allowed, but there's nothing back there. If you can save these men, I'll do that for you. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? Quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. What? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Araeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my meditations. You're not going to go to the hot labs, are you? You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. 
I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. They're waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram, and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. If you hadn't, you'd be dead too. Of course. That is perfectly true. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. You're not part of the crew. Call me Shepard. I'm a Spectre sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. Look, Plague doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. What do you want? I have Ventralis' permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Your mission ends here, Shepard. I thought she seemed odd. You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! They came out of there. You mean the get... the inorganics the Asari had with her? Benezia brought them with her. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. 
Dr. Ayalis. But she seemed like the most stable one here. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Is that the cure? You did it? That a sorry scientist, the one in the mess hall? She just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Thanks for the warning. Here's the cure. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? That's what I'm here for. Forget about it. I need to administer this. Thanks again. They seem to be coming along well. I need to get into the maintenance areas. You're not supposed to go back there. But I guess there's nothing to hurt. Here's my pass. Just don't tell the guards. Talk to you later. Of course. Be careful. Like this place. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara is here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict. <laughs> Filled with his light. Everything is clear. Start talking, Benezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. 
You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You have to give me the location. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should, you should, oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on! We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless.
Who am I speaking to here? We are the... Mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been... lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look. Those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.